I like my vegetables uh, unwashed. Nobbly. I prepare them. Yes. Nobbly. Imperfect. Yes. What I don't want is a regular carrot next to another regular carrot, which is exactly the same shape. That would worry me. That would bother me a great deal. <laughs> the habit of talking about yourself and your work is a little bit like, um, you know, you should be able to explain and justify what you do. But if it's if it becomes a thing in itself, then it, it just gets boring. And it's like looking at yourself in the mirror. Some people probably enjoy that. I'm not particularly fond myself. So you, you sort of do it for a bit and then you... You have to walk away because otherwise you get into this sort of mental feedback thing. Yeah. You know, like years and years ago when when I did have to do a lot of interviews in order to get people to listen and whatever, you get into this thing where then that sort of sort of analysis about what you're doing feeds into what you're doing. So you find yourself explaining what you're doing while you're doing it, which is not healthy not good for your not good for you you know it's like because along with that comes another voice going yeah it's a bit this is a bit you should stop now so i think um there's a limit to how how many times you should explain mm. things <laughs> gunpoint scenario and you had to do strictly or i'm a celebrity which one would you oh, do strictly you would i think they asked me once Come on! <laughs> well, you were, what, you must have been touring days, at the time or something. In the, early, in, the, no, in the early days of the programme, and I was like, you are? <laughs> <laughs> That's just, what a, what a missed opportunity I think, that is. I think, I'm pretty sure that I got the call from the office one day. Yeah, I'm not going to bother checking that. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> well, that's good to know, anyway, that it would be strictly 2020. You know, maybe we could both do it. That would be good. Well, actually, you and me in tights. Well, why not? I mean, they're talking about doing the, the sort of uh, sort of introducing it. For God's sake, you know, it's 2020 next year. Uh, Same-sex right? couples and yeah, stuff. Right. So it's time. Oh, you, you you mean you and me? We don't have to do it together well. as a couple, but if they coupled us up, but no, we need a professional. Paul and I went down to France and we with Nigel and we Nigel Goodrich with this sort of hum ha sort of thing, and on on the way back. We're all sitting on the train going, well, of course, uh, we can't afford it. So anyway, never mind. And he makes a phone call and uh, he comes back and says, um, yeah, Netflix, they're, they're going to pay for it. <laughs> and then by the time we got to London, we're like, oh, sh now we've got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like on the phone to Paul most nights for about three weeks trying to develop this thing, you know, in a state of mild panic on both sides constantly. <laughs> There's another sequence in... Um, uh, in the in the, in the quarry, where everybody, all these dancers, um, on this cr incredibly dirty stone floor, were all spasming. So they come up so violently, they, they literally come off the ground. They're lying flat on the ground and they spasm and into the air and then land again. And some of these guys were just literally turning off that day from elsewhere in Europe, being shown how to do it and then nailing it within an hour. It's, it's, I've never seen anything like it. It was. It's like, it's like a musician reading music, I suppose, isn't it? For yeah, it was like an orchestra. You know, they work like an orchestra works. Do you ever look at just for fun at other people's interpretations? Because they've got these websites now, which I, I've only recently come to light for me. You know, where where people sort of try to no. analyze your lyrics. Can you imagine? I've got some here. It's the last thing I need. Let's have a look at this. Oh my god. Okay, so uh, on the uh, Don Chorus from the album. Oh yeah. Because uh, the first line is back up the cul-de-sac. Cul-de-sac is French for a dead end. With these opening lines, York states that the main character in the song is heading nowhere in life and will continue to do so. Wrong. Unlike videotape from In Rainbows, which focuses on accepting death and leaving a legacy, Dawn Chorus seems to do the opposite. If you could do it all again implies unrest or denial with the way you, your life went. Completely wrong. I, I just, I was really happy that, that her and her brother are being given the freedom to do what they want and no one's jumping on them. Yeah. They, they, they really are doing what they want and, um, and because she's being herself, people uh, are into it. It's like, yeah, that's <laughs> what it is. Remember, you know, before everybody started telling you what to do and you got auto tuned to f <laughs> <laughs> no, But that's it, isn't it? It's like, uh, is the, without sounding like Statler and Waldorf and like two old geezers, going, I'll tell you what, not Mark and Martin, Rubbish! I'll tell you what, Rubbish! You can't properly sing, you know.
looking back um, a bit at the sort of Kid A stuff because the anniversaries that's coming up mm. been going through the tapes a bit with Nigel that's pretty crazy <laughs> is it? I mean but mostly it's crazy because you're like huh? how? how? Do, how? how do we get that? how? don't get it I was listening to spinning plates going wow how did we get there? Yeah. and then I remember oh yeah I know I recorded something on a little sequencer and then Nigel was spinning it backwards on the tape and I went wait wait that's it <laughs> so we turned the tape over and then and then I remember like Colin just p- putting this weird Rhodes thing on it and, and and then deciding to record the vocal backwards and then spin them forwards and then learn that and blah 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 and you can but how why did, why, how did we get there mental that's that's the sign of that you know that's that's what you're hoping for if you if that's you just decide to be a musician in your life then that's I guess that's what you want in life is that feeling